good as they out there. And I thought I'd go Facebook Live on my laptop here. For the first time I ever used a laptop to do it. But uh, glory to God, I'm going to get in the Word here in just a few minutes. But uh, if anybody's out there um, watching or listening in today, let me know if you can hear me. Amen. And uh, if you can see me. Amen. Because I'm using the laptop uh, microphone. So I don't know how good it is. So uh, let me know if you can hear me out there, please. And we'll go into the Word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hello, Sister Sandy. God bless you. God bless you, Brother Bobby. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to be reading over out of John chapter 9, uh, beginning with the first verse. I'm going to go into the Word for a few minutes here. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your precious and holy word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. You know, the Bible says here that uh, when Jesus, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from birth. And the first thing, glory to God, that uh, the disciples did was uh, ask if... Um, Glory to God, who had sinned this man or if his parents had sinned because he was born blind. But Jesus answered, and this is what he told them, neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. You know, I, I found out in the religious world, glory to God, when somebody goes through something, when somebody... Uh, goes through a trial or goes through a battle, the first thing that, 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 the, that the church folk want to say or, or indicate, wow, they must have some sin in their life. Or, they must have done something terrible. They must have done something wrong or, or the Lord wouldn't be allowing this to happen to them. But glory to God, sometimes let me tell you, glory to God, it, it's not that they got sin in their life. It's not that they have sinned, but it's that the glory of God can be manifested in them and in their situation. Amen. Sometimes, glory to God, the, uh, the step that we go through is so that God's might, so that God's power can be made known. Amen. Glory to God, the, the, this man had not sinned. He was born blind. He didn't even have a chance to, to sin. Amen. Because he was born that way. And Jesus made that clear to him that neither this man has sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Hallelujah. You might be going through something right now, but let me tell you something. God's works are going to be made manifest in you. His glory is going to be known. His power is going to be known. What he can do is going to be known. Amen. Don't let man discourage you. Don't let man put in your head, oh, you've done something bad or you wouldn't be going through this. Uh, let me tell you something, glory to God. Uh, uh, you can be right in the center of God's will, glory to God, and be living as clean as you can and still be going through something, amen. Sickness still be hitting your body. Sickness still be hitting your household. The finances struggling or something down the line, amen. Glory to God, you can be living holy and still be going through these things. Uh, but let me tell you something something God's going to use it for his glory. Amen. Take courage in the Lord today. Be encouraged in him. God loves you. Amen. He loves you. Be encouraged and know, glory to God, that his works are going to be made manifest in you. Those that are standing by and mocking those are standing by pointing their fingers saying, well, you must have done something bad. Huh? You must have done something terrible. Well, they're going to see God's glory. They're going to see what God can do. 
in you and in your situation. Church world, we got to stop condemning people and saying, well, they're going through this or they're going through that because they sinned. Hallelujah. You don't know, glory to God, what's going on in their life. You may think you know. And a lot of times uh, people want to sit around and gossip and uh, uh, chew the fat, as we call it, about others, about what they're doing or they ain't doing and all this. Let me tell you something, Lord God. We need to just be concerned about, Lord God, what we, what we are doing in our walk with Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to be concerned. Uh, where's old Fred at? Where's he standing at with Jesus? Amen. I ain't got time to point fingers at somebody else today. I ain't got time to run and condemn somebody else today. I'm too busy trying to get my house in order. I'm too busy trying to be about the Father's business and, and do what he'll have me to do. Amen. Be encouraged. Next time you see somebody going through something, don't be trying to find what sin they committed to, that's caused it to bring it about. But pray for them and encourage them and uplift them because I found out something. The shoe can be on the other foot that's a snap of your fingers. Amen. You can be the one that's going through it. Amen. Come on now. Huh? You heard those saying, you point one finger, there's two more pointing at you. Huh? Come on. Hallelujah. When we start talking about people and, and start judging the situation that they're going through and, and the stuff that we go they're going through, we better be having our facts straight. Amen. Because Lord God, you got to remember that's God's baby. Amen. That's God's child that you're talking about. And he said, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And let me tell you, Lord of God, touching his anointing. Amen. Yeah, I know that goes for the preachers, but that goes for any body, glory to God, that belongs to him. They are anointed to him and they are set apart for his work. Amen. So let's watch what we say about people. Let's watch uh, condemning people. Huh? Glory to God, you don't know what they're going through. You don't know what's going on in their mind. And those harsh words that you say, those harsh words that you say might just be enough. Whew. Mm. Might just be enough to push somebody over the edge. It might just be enough, glory to God, to push somebody over the edge. Huh? You might not agree with what you're seeing. You might not agree. Hallelujah, I feel the anointing. You might not agree with what somebody's doing, but pray for them. Pray for them. Get down on your knees, amen, and start crying out for them instead of being over the dinner table talking about them. Glory to God. Start praying for them. Start crying out, oh, Lord, help my brother. Oh, Lord, help my sister. Oh, Lord, lift them up. Lord, I don't know, glory to God, why they do this or doing that, but God, lift them up. Huh? Lift them up. Glory to God. Don't condemn. Don't condemn. But lift them up. Amen. Hallelujah. This has been a few moments in the Word with Preacher Manru. Amen. I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be encouraged. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your heart turned toward Him. Don't let man distract you. Don't let man get your eyes off of the Lord. Hey, you know, you know where your heart stands at with Jesus. You know where your walk is at with him. Don't let man tell you where you're standing. You know yourself where you stand at Jesus with him. Huh? And you keep walking with him. And if there is any sin in there, all you got to do 
with a, is with a sincere heart. God, please forgive me. Whew. Wash me and cleanse me in the precious blood of the Lamb. Huh? And you know what? He'll forgive you. With us lifting one another up. There's too much out there with a religious spirit that's destroying people. There's too many out there with a self or self righteous spirit, holier than now spirit that are destroying people. Huh? We ain't helping many. I'll be honest, we ain't helping many because we're too busy destroying them. Huh? With a holier than now self righteous spirit. Preachers, just come down off in our pedestal for a moment and know, glory to God, that if they be anything good in us, and if they be anything righteous and holy in us, it's because of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not because of any great thing that we've done. Glory to God, it's all because of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless each and every one. Until next time, how have you been listening to a few minutes in the Word with Preacher Manru? God bless you all.